Carolyn Navarro here from mining.com.au. I'm joined today by Lodestar Minerals Managing Director Ed Turner. Ed, nice to see you. Yeah, Carolyn. So drilling has kicked off at Erahidi, 5,000 metres is planned. Tell us about the seven high priority drill targets and what you hope to see. Yeah, the, the drill targets, they're, they're mostly copper gold targets, these ones, rather than the, the zinc lead, um, uh, targets, which are a, a different part of the Erahidi project. Um, they were identified with electromagnetic surveys last year and they were backed up by um, ultra-fine fragment soldier chem uh, uh, sampling program, which basically confirmed the anomalies in each of the targets. It's quite a, a large area, so we actually had about 30 targets identified and we, we picked the seven best ones. So we're really hoping to basically discover uh, massive sulphide, um, copper, and hopefully with associated gold, um, like a big Russia geological setting. So hopefully we'll see volcanic rocks as well as the sedimentary rocks. It's, it hasn't always been um, recognised, this potential uh, style of mineralisation in the Arahuti. So hopefully we'll, we'll hit something with um, at least one of these uh, one of these targets. And depending on the results, do you expect to start reverse circulation drilling next? Yeah, RC and or uh, diamond core drilling, depending on, yeah, we'll, we'll need to see the results first and then, then make a decision on that. So Ed, moving forward into the next half of this year, what can we expect to see from Erahidi? Uh, lots more activity, activity. We're uh, kicking off a lot of soil sampling as well, uh, targeting the, the the perspective of uh, zinc lead silver horizons, which is near the, the freer formation unconformity uh, with the underlying Yelma uh, formation. Conventional soil geochemistry will work fine in those areas. So we've got a lot of ground to cover there because we've got over 85 kilometres of, of strike length of that contact. So that's underway as well. So that'll be happening in the background and uh, hopefully generating new uh, dual targets, which we'll get to in the second half of the year. Ed, thanks so much for your time. 